Hi, this is Sid with my bad English and the worst video quality walkthrough on YouTube ever. This time I show you how to get easy rupees or infinite money. First of all, let's get to this fishing village. It is located in the southeast corner of the map. And it's not that hard to find. Once inside this village, get inside the hut. Once inside the hut, save your progress. It's not that exciting to save. Once inside the hut, you will look an old man. How could I get so much money in no time? Just suck this man's dick. No, I'm joking. You gotta play a bet. You will bet your money. The monster you can bet is 100 rupees. Then you will choose a chest. If you choose the right chest, you will triple your bet. Like get 300 rupees in no time. And what if I lose? Well, if you lose, you can just charge your save back. Like uh, this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I won! Well, never mind. If you win, you can just save again. Now, the question is, why this man has so much money? Why you can win straight like six or seven times and he doesn't give a fuck about uh, you winning? Because he's damn rich. Like everyone in Hyrule. Everyone in Hyrule, in Hyrule is so rich. Even monsters have rupees. There are rupees under boulders. There are money inside the grass. Would you throw your dollars out in the grass? Did you ever find any dollars by cutting the grass? This is totally wrong. In Hyrule no one pays it taxes. That's why they're so rich. No one pays any tax on anything. <coughs> the real question is, how could they build a, such a build, big, huge, gigantic castle without paying any tax? This is quite weird. What is the answer? Goron slavery is the answer. They have a lot of fucking slaves. That's why they can build anything without using any money and they still be rich. Let's find out the truth in the next Zelda game. The Goron slavery. I choose Goron because they totally look like Afro niggas.